All right, what's poppin', gang? It's your boy, 904 Scotty, a.k.a. Scotty. Don't forget the pimping. You dig me? And, bro, I ain't even gonna count. I was just watching Duke react to this same video. I was probably about three, four minutes in. I don't even know who Jit is. I ain't even gonna perk. But, I, bro, Fredo done got exposed like 42 times in like the past four years. And I usually don't react and I usually ignore it. I don't know the situation for real, but I just had to hop on this bitch and get my thoughts on what the hell was going on, dog. Like, I was getting mad just watching it, and I was only like two minutes in. So we finna, we finna get it cracking in here, bro. Out. Okay, you're recording me, recording you. Recording he made me block DDG and AMP. First of all, off tops, already crazy, already a crazy bananas title. He made already bananas. Record me so I can record you so I have documentation of this recording. All right, today is March 5th. March 5th. March 5th. March 5th. How many subscribers do you have? 4,500 subscribers. You literally work every fucking day. I promise you, you will more than a million percent have a million subscribers by the end of the year. That's just this year? 100%. Minimum. Fredo, this year? Damn, I mean, listen. Nigga, listen. Fredo been popping for a minute. Fredo been popping since I was in like early high school, middle school. Give him that. You gonna get this nigga a million in this year. Nigga, that's impossible. It's not impossible. Fredo, this year? Kevin, this year. I didn't even think sooner, but Fredo, that's a low goal. That's a low a goal. million subscribers, uh, nigga, at least. Well, yeah, start like at a hundred thousand. Uh, you have talent. You are extremely talented. I've been around so many talented people. You've seen this shit. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Cam Deasy here, back with another vid. And as y'all just saw in that first clip, that is just one example of mm. Fredo dragging me along, manipulating me, and getting in my head to keep me around so he could use me at any moment's notice. And then now I'm blocked and nigga doesn't want to talk to me because he's done using me. And that's what he does with every single person he comes in contact with. Mm -hmm. He will use you, drive you to the ground, and then when he's done, he's done. I, I want to start off by saying I'm not just some random nigga, bro. I did the Fredo clone video in 2018. Whatever year that was. And I've been working with him. I want to say I remember that video, that. bro. I've been in the military, so I've been, like, traveling and shit to make videos done with him. Nigga. You in the military? You in the military? U.S. government failed this young man. I would do videos with him. I, I don't know how many videos or how many he's deleted. They clearly ain't put your ass through the right boot camp or something. Nigga. Consistently. Talk to him Consistently. And now I'm doing something I never thought I would do, but I have to because at this point, bro, y'all need to understand what kind of person he is. And if you choose to work with him after this video, after, if you watch this video and you choose to work with Fredo, you don't even, you, you fucked yourself, bro. You mean how you fucked Joseph? Bro, it's not like this nigga Fredo has had a crystal clear, a crispy clean image, my nigga. It's not like Fredo been out here in these streets known as a good Samaritan. The nigga get exposed twice a year. Nigga, nigga, it's a scandal twice a year with this nigga. So, if you been rocking with him since 2018, damn. Boy, it's 2023. Well, I've been stuck on 2020 for like three years, but damn. Bro, five years, bro. You done seen him get exposed at least eight times. Nigga, you're the people you're talking about, bro. You're wrong. Like, you're crazy if you choose to work with this nigga. He's talking to himself. Bro. It's all right. It. It's a coping mechanism. It's all right. Not go that crazy. It's all right. I'm going to speak right. what I experience. Speak your truth, know brother. The truth because that's the type of speak nigga. Speak your I am, truth. Bro. And honestly, it wouldn't have even got to this point 
But I tried to text him and let him know face to face, man to man, and he blocked me. Bro, After I'm I ain't gonna lie, bro, might be sweet. Thousands bro. of dollars. He got about forty so pounds now, on him. He'll probably be if it's a little bit all over the place. I apologize, but there's just so much shit. He ain't want that, that, ain't want that to face to face me. Think about, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the most recent and just talk about my most recent experience these last couple months. Because these last couple months have been so. Bro, I've been trying to fucking ignore it, bro, but it's kind of getting me tight, bro. Because, like, nigga, you don't got a pair of clippers in your house, bro. All he literally got to do is bink, hit that bit right there one time, Fuck. and I'll be cool, bro. I'm going to start Fuck. off by saying he reached out to me and said he's bringing SSH back together. So, I, you know, we all come together. We talk group chat, blah blah blah. He tells me there's gonna be a contract, and I'm aware it's time. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. All that was a lie. There was no contract. As much as he said I was as an SSH, I never saw compensation for it, and I never really was in SSH. Nigga, five years you never saw compensation for nothing. Bro, come on, bro. It, 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 it get to a certain point in time. Like, bro, don't get it twisted. Fredo a fuck, nigga. Fredo a fuck, nigga. I'm not... There ain't no if ands, or buts about it. Fredo a fuck, nigga. But, bro, you got to hold yourself responsible for that shit, too. You're... You, I ain't going to call you nothing, but, bro, you got you to gotta call yourself some of them damn things. Bro, five years, you done seen this nigga get exposed at least 42 times. You feel me? You ain't got paid for shit. Come on, bro. Let's let's keep uh, going. Maybe maybe it's I on some... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm on some shit, like, because I'm looking at it now, knowing how it went. Sometimes they'd be $800. Sometimes they'd be $1,000. And it's not like I'm rich and have the money to do that. He would give me a day's notice and say, you need to be in New York or Orlando. In two oh. days or by tomorrow. Bro, this fucking vernacular is bonkers, my nigga. You need to be. And then when I'm like, bro, I don't have the money or like time, he would gaslight me and tell me like, nigga, are you really even questioning this? Like, is this even a question? You're really going to miss out on making millions of dollars? Over a thousand dollars? And it would get me thinking like, yeah, I mean, I guess you're right, da da da. Then he'd be like, honestly, bro, if anything, I'll just help you. Just buy the ticket and I'll help you. Yeah, Fred, oh fuck. I learned slowly that every time I'd buy that ticket and I expect help, when it was time for him to help me, more of this bullshit would come out. Be like, bro, you're investing in Fred yourself. Fred, don't nigga. trip. Like, this is what you have to do. This is what you have to do if you want to get what you want to get. And it would end up in him never helping me or paying me. It ain't really me. hard to manipulate a nigga who ain't got SEC shit, bro. Up. It's Keith's it's a special type of, but it's really a special type of nigga in the trenches that hold morals, you know what I'm saying, over getting a bag or whatever. So for him to tell him, bro, like you gonna you ain't gonna risk spending a thousand dollars to work with a nigga who can get you a, you know what I'm saying, bro. He knew he was gonna have that man on the hook like that, and clearly, bro, come together and I'm kind of new in the situation, and I'm wondering why. So he gets back in the group chat and he tells That's us all, look, wild, boy. we have to come this day. Everyone's going to be there, blah, blah, blah. Let's try this again. We all get in the group chat. We're all talking. We're supposed to all meet up in New York a certain day. And I'm, I'm not really talking to the guys, Keith and Malik, but Fredo, I'm talking to him every day. And he's like, hey, yeah, they're going to be there. They're going to be there. They're going to be there. Don't worry about it. Just get your... Once again, nigga, you got to take some responsibility for that. You just took his word for it. Days leading up to this trip, you ain't even, ticket, you ain't your talked to now none, nobody to like else. ticket I bought after working with him solo, now I'm working with the group. And I'm like, all right, bro, since Boy, the whole group's going to be there, I'll fuck, I, I'll nigga, fuck it, I'll go down another thousand. You ain't paying for a nigga flight because to your dog. You could have got, you could have got folks a little flight. $300 spirit so or something, risk, dog. I got 300, there, little $400, $500 so American, like, oh, you feel me, bro? You got a bag, bro. I wake up the next morning, he goes, Cam, they're not coming. Blame them, it's their fault, it's not me. And I was like, why didn't you just tell me it wasn't for sure? Yeah, nigga, nah, you. like, because I thought they would come. And I was like, well, bro, I don't have money to just get up and go. But he literally said he wasn't trying to work anymore and pretty much kicked me out and I had to go. Said the energy was off and I had to go. So I got my shit. 
bought another plane ticket the next day after getting there one day. I slept, woke up the next day, bought another plane ticket right back home. And he helped with zero. And he told me he was going to help. He told me, hey, bro, I got you. Don't worry about it. I got you. Just buy the ticket. I got you. That's what he would always say. And he helped zero. But me again, he's in my head telling me all these things. Nigga, right, I'm going to make you a million dollars. Don't worry. It's rough sometimes. Da, da, da. I got you. I'm going to make you big. Don't worry. Blah, blah, blah. Feeding me, feeding me. Just telling me all this shit. Vlogmas comes around. He once again tells me SSH is going to be there. It's not SSH. It's random niggas I've never seen before. Nigga! He ain't even a certified finesser. I was going, I, bro. He hitting you with the same shit. He hitting you with the same move, nigga. your head at, bro? Where's his homeboys? Where's the people in his corner telling him, like, bro? Nigga, you being a munch right now. Man, bro. And he tells me, oh, I decided to do this because they work harder, da 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 da. And I'm just like, well, I'm already here, fuck it, I have to do it. Overall, the experience that last time with him was horrible. The Corvette video was 100% fake, and I did it because he's really good at making it seem like it's gonna benefit me when I knew it wasn't going to. Neither. I and the other guy split, bought the Corvette, and I put the fucking security deposit down on it, $2,000. This nigga Fredo, bruh, he's a fucking finesser, bro. This nigga is a finesser! Bro, you gotta really break this shit down, bro. Yeah, bro, I don't know if y'all know, bro. YouTube, you can get a bag on this shit, bro, for real. And he been had a following. So if he got this sweet at... If he got this dude to... Get the vet, shoot the video, and be in it, and took the whole check on the back end, however many tens of thousand dollars it was, and then get this nigga shit. You need to slap your damn self. Bro, I'm going to keep it a bean. I'm going to keep it a he brick, like dog. Hands on it and Fred old like, fuck oh, nigga, I'm but I'm he needed this shit to happen to his ass. ass. But he, he needed this character development. And he was the least one to put money down. I swear to God, he needed his character development. He needed somebody. Bro, that's the only way you're going to learn in life. Because clearly he was shown time after time after time. God was giving his ass spanking after spanking after spanking. And this nigga wasn't listening. So he said, bro, I got to I gotta hit your ass with the big dip. So I blame myself a little bit for being so stupid. Oh, oh, dude. And it's not like I'm doing this because I didn't oh, grow up and shit didn't work out. It's about oh, the fact that... He completely cut me out after this, and I didn't do anything, but... But you know what's the saddest part, too, bro? If Fredo hit him up right now and say the right words, you can tell by his tone, even the way he going at the video. He ain't even like, man, that fuck, that da 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 He ain't even trying to burn a bridge, though, because he's still worried about going back. Certain Some Stick bridges is worth burning. Him, bro. Some. That's one of them bitches you, you like fire that, really that motherfucker. That I will confirm is when he works with people in these model agencies, he does not pay them. He'll hire five models for a video, six models. Oh, y'all lag. It doesn't matter. Finesse, They're literally boy, like this 50 nigga bucks. is the top. And Don Don. This nigga is the Don Don. And then when they come and ask him, like, hey, I never get paid, he'll put it on another SSH member that's not even involved. I literally watched him tell a model, like, oh, it's Malik. Malik's supposed to pay you. My bad, bro. Malik does dirty shit like that. My bad. And then when they leave, he'll be like, yeah, I boy, got that's you. that's a boy. Folk says green as hell. Boy, that's a slimy nigga, though, boy. And never fucking pay. I don't even be I just taking people word for it because I be like, I ain't see it, I don't like, know it, but I, bro, just what it is. This is how I it. also believe in numbers. And nigga, statistically, if you getting your ass fucking exposed two times a year on average, 
Everybody ain't lying on your ass, boy. That nigga fuck me, boy. But no, you don't do that to people. It's fucked up. It's wrong. Any money that I've ever received in any video or anything, if he did send it to me on Cash App, as soon as the video's over, I sent it right back. My biggest problem with him is the fact that he would gaslight me. Excuse me, nigga? Excuse me? Let me make sure I heard that I've ever received in any video or anything. Nope. A little further. It's just what it is. This is how the game is. But no, you don't do that to people. It's fucked up. It's wrong. Any money that I've ever received in any video or anything, if he did send it to me on Cash App, as soon as the video's over, I sent it right back. My biggest problem with him is the fact that he would gap. I'm finna cut this shit off, bro. I don't know if I got four more minutes in me, game. I don't know if I got four more minutes in me, game. It's like me and make it sound like anytime I didn't want to do something, he would be like, this is what you got to do, bro. Don't you want to be a millionaire? Like I told you, this is what you're going to have to do. Like you have to put in the work. But in reality, he's just do, doing things that benefit him. I spent thousands of dollars on flights. He bro, never it, it's he really, told me he it's really, so much it's time really wasted. scary. There was times that. where I fly there for a day, then I have to fly back. That I will say I went through a lot of shit growing up. And a lot of shit that I feel like I ain't deserve, I ain't go through that really left scars that I will never heal from. But, bro, I would not take none of that shit back, bro. Because when I see people like this, because, bro, this man genuinely ain't. Let me get him off. Let me Bad. stop. His ass was looking laser eyed as fuck. I ain't going to hold, bro. Make him look like that. I ain't going to play him out like that. But, bro, when you see people like this that's genuinely surprised. That people can really be snakes like that is really sad because it's like, bro, you so much of a good person to the point that you green as hell. You, you, this nigga pie as pie can be just because he a good person. Just because he don't know that nigga like Fredo really out here that'll really backdoor you, slime you, snake you, whatever y'all want to call it. They will do that to you, bro. It's people out here that will do that to you and not give a fuck about it. You really got to accept that shit, my nigga. But no matter, I can scream this shit here till I'm blue in the face. They not going to believe it until they, it just take the right situation. Multiple, to times, multiple times I'm buying tickets, making videos, and then he wouldn't even post the videos because something was fucked up. And I'm sitting here like, bro, I want exposure. At least the one thing I'm going to get out of this is exposure. And then he wouldn't even post the videos after I'd fucking spend a thousand dollars to get out there and make this video for him. The other thing that he would do is talk shit about people. Talk shit about Malik. Talk shit about Keese. Talk shit about Darian. Talk shit about Mikey. Talk shit about Bari. All these people that were connected to him. Talk shit about all these people connected to him. And they honestly didn't do shit but live through what I'm going through. Bro, I ain't gonna cap, scale. bro. He's bro, I ain't gonna cap. I understand everybody ain't a gangster. I don't be expecting everybody to react. And, and do the shit that I think in my head or think that people should do. I get that. But out of... But how many niggas it was in SSH? This nigga... Th bro, it's like 13 of these niggas. Ain't nobody beat his ass yet? Ain't nobody beat Fredo ass yet? What y'all scared of him? Bro, like at this point, all this flow shit that, that be coming out that he did. Y'all ain't... Ain't nobody beat his ass yet? He got goddamn 45 pounds on Fredo. Fuck it. Hit his ass. Fuck, Fuck it, all bro. All these people. And he would you tell me, get your money to back. they're on their own Shit. Path. They don't listen. Da, da, da. They don't want it. But after experiencing what I experienced, I look back and I feel stupid for believing everything he said because this oh, nigga will drag anything out of everybody and then be mad at them and look at them like a snake when they leave. But he's the problem. Fredo is the issue. Fredo is the issue. The contract. He just had the revelation. Straight up to my face all the time. Oh, this contract. I'm going to get it written up. You're going to be like this. Light bulb just went off. Total bullshit. It was a method to keep me attached. Oh, was it? And I fell for it. The editor. He took 10 bands from his editor. I met his editor. Itolo. He's a good-ass dude. Good-ass kid.
Out of everybody that was supposed to beat his ass, it sounded like the editor was the one. Doing his own business. <laughs> Fredo finessed him out of ten thousand dollars. He told me, "Hey, don't mess, he, don't mess with Etolo. He's bad for business. Don't, don't go for him for videos no more." No and stuff boy, like that. Fredo ass bad for business, boy. He, boy, Fredo bad for business, boy. <laughs> He's bad this for business. Nigga he the big to slime, him. boy. And I believe Fredo. <laughs> After going back and talking to Etolo and talking slime. to the guys, bro, I realized that there's a trend happening, and Fredo has fucked over every single person in his path. Nothing he does is with pure intent. It's to the point where everything he says or does, you have to question it. You have to question it and think oh, like, dude. how is he going to use me in this situation? Because that's what he does. Like DDG, him and DDG don't like each oh, other. Dude. I personally fuck with DDG as a creator and a music artist. Fredo literally told me, bro, I'm not kidding when I say this. The nigga literally made me block DDG and delete all his music off my Spotify. The vernacular, bro. The vernacular, DDG bro. and AMP literally live rent free in this nigga's head. He does. He <laughs> didn't allow me to watch AMP videos in his house. He didn't allow. Allow me to fucking listen to DDG's music or have any of their. Bro, I'm finna cut this shit out, bro. I'm finna cut this shit out, bro. <laughs> nigga! You like, bro. Nigga over there. You don't want me for me. Ain't throw a bottle at his ass. Hey, boy, cut that shit off. Bro. Bro. If this nigga say, nigga, let me hold your girl for the night. Nigga, what you don't want it? Nigga, what you don't want to be a millionaire, nigga? What, you ain't gonna get your bitch up for one night? So you could be a millionaire, nigga? Boy, guess who bitch getting hit that night, boy? I'm gonna give you three guesses. My own phone. My own phone. That's the control method, bro. Like, Fredo's crazy. He literally didn't allow me to have that shit on my own phone. And then, like, days would go by, and he would literally be like, Cam, unlock your phone or get out my house. I can't meet none of these niggas, boy. But I'm telling you, boy. Like, bro, what? He's like, unlock your phone or get out of my house. So I would have to give him my phone and he would go through my shit. He would literally go through my shit and be and check to see if I followed him back or I have any of his music or if I've been watching AMP videos, bro. Like there's a problem and this nigga needs to come down. Bro. Cause this no, this nah nah nah, nah 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 nah. He need more than an ass whooping. Fredo ass need help. What the fuck did he just say? Check to see if I followed him back or I have any of his music or if I've been watching AMP videos, bro. Like, there's a problem and this nigga needs to come down. Bro, this nigga needs to be done, bro. Nah, bro, Stop need, watching bro need this help, nigga, bro. Stop watching this nigga, bro. Bro, he is a snake, bro. I need y'all to stop giving niggas like this fame, bro. It's wrong. This is just part one. Getting my feelings out. Getting my feelings out. Gotta get it off my chest. Fuck that nigga Fredo. I let all the days go. Fuck that nigga so hard. I'll never eat no more Alfredo. Never eat no more Alfredo, not chicken, not shrimp. That nigga a wimp. He a simp. He fucked me so bad, I gotta walk with a fucking limp. Cause you a fucking simp. God damn! In part two, I'm literally gonna lay out the finances, the screenshots, and everything that happened. I don't everything even need, bro. We don't need the receipts, bro. But just bro, know, bro. all bro. the exposed videos you guys have seen. Bro, he's done, bro. He's done. We don't need the receipts, bro. They nigga, you gave this information up willingly, nigga. Batman could not have broke enough bones in my fucking body to make me tell nobody that nigga did me like this. Oh, you got it. We believe you. We're going to say a prayer for him and Fredo, bro. Both of these niggas need help. He just got his character development, but he still need... He still need, like, two bitches to cheat on him. He's still not done. But Fredo, that nigga need help for real, bro. Like, not even on no funny shit, bro. Like, I really hope... For real, bro. Anyway, I'm finna be on about this thing, man. Y'all know what to do. I ain't even gotta say it. 
Oh, but I do got to say, because I don't ever tell y'all all my socials and shit, link is down below, bro. Just tap in.